Capricorn. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 22nd to the 28th of May 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Right, Capricorn, 22nd to the 28th of May, 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Capricorn. Overall, Two of Pentacles. Getting control of the situation back, um, where you have been pulled in different directions, a bit of a tug of war game possibly, um, things are coming back into alignment, whether it's within, whether it's out here, getting control of that situation back into place. Past energies, you had the Queen of Wands, Five of Cups, Six of Swords. There's confidence and determination to move forward from some sort of emotional loss, grief or sadness that you've been going through in the past. Always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on, but deep down you knew there was loving energy around you. There was a way forward, some plans were being put into place to take action to move forward, but you're doing this in your own way, in your own time, in your own process, which is how it should be. Present energies, the chariot, nine of cups, eight of cups. And this is possibly some sort of emotional detachment here where you are moving forward away from what was happening back here in the past. That chariot is starting to move in a forward direction, starting to pick up the pace, not getting the speed wobbles I always say, but balancing things out there. Emotional happiness is there for the taking. I always say take it with both hands and run with it. That is in the core of your reading. May have connection to a cancer with this chariot here, but there was this detachment from what had happened back here. Wow. Future energies, Ten of Swords, the Universe, Two of Wands. It does bring an end to this painful cycle that you have been through, but it's happened for a reason. We don't always know the reason why at the time. It may be years down the track before you suddenly oh yeah remember when but this is that whole getting that balance and alignment back into place as well now is the moment for that to happen and in doing so this allows you to now focus on where to from here and start moving forward towards these goals and these dreams that you do have here wow capricorn so let's clarify everything so starting with the two of pentacles overall Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Equal give and take. You know, around this balance and alignment, it is about balance. If you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. I always say that. And this is about making sure that things are balanced, aligned, and equally given and taken. Especially with some sort of partnership when you're building something solid together. You're working together. There's that collaboration equal give and take because a lot of your time a lot of your focus a lot of your energy seems to be stuck on one particular thing at the moment here with this four of cups and this is now being able to shift that focus around and it's just sharing the energy around sharing the workload around um, so that you're not doing everything yourself here wow so past energies queen of wands capricorn Justice, Nine of Wands, King of Swords. Always say sweet justice, good karma, good result for the hard work you've put in. You've had to jump through a lot of hoops, dodge a lot of bullets to get onto solid ground. And that may be your sweet justice in itself. Now there's nothing holding you back here. Using your head over your heart, very logical, very level-headed, and taking action to get things moving in a forward direction. Especially clarifying Queen of Wands, that confidence and that determination to get things moving forward. So we come into this Five of Cups in the past, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers. Proud of how far you have come um, and proud of your achievements. 
It's been a bit of an emotional journey, I feel, to this stage, but this Wheel of Fortune is starting to move forward now and gain momentum to good luck, good fortune, bigger and better things, always say hopefully for all of you. May have connection to a Gemini. There is a soulmate, twin flame, somebody significant here. Maybe an existing relationship. It may have been somebody extremely brand new at that stage, but they were here by your side through your moment of loss or grief here. That's the loving energy that's been around you. Six of Swords, Capricorn. The Moon, Seven of Cups, Princess of Swords. Um, you know, it's like, and I always say, like, taking the repeat patterns, the first one that looks good, everybody does do that, but I feel like this Moon has actually given you some clarity when you're going through this emotional sadness to actually see what else is there in front of you. You've started to put some solid plans into place to get things moving forward, and I feel like this moon's giving you that clarity to do that, along with seeing the other options that weren't so obviously available, possibly previously. But you're up for this challenge. You're up for a different option. You're up for a different opportunity, and to get things moving in a forward direction. Bring it on. Love that. And that in itself gets this chariot energy moving. Present energies, the chariot. Judgment, Eight of Cups, the star. You've got the Eight of Cups over here as well. So definitely detaching from something or someone or somewhere emotionally from back here in the past. Um, usually I say don't judge others, don't let others judge you, but this is more about keeping an open mind of where this chariot is taking you now, because the focus now is on your dreams, your heart desires, what you want, who you want, where you want to be, and getting the chariot moving, getting these dreams to come to life. Bam, it's all on. Nine of Cups, Capricorn. And that happiness is there for the taking. Five of Pentacles, the devil, strength. It's taken a lot of strength, or is still taking a lot of strength, to break free of some sort of negative, toxic, unhealthy energy. May have been what caused the sadness back here in the past. May have been feeling left out in the cold, ghosted, blocked, no explanation at all. Somebody's just pretty much walked out. As per the state of cups we go into and I have that flow on effect now of saying they thought the grass was greener on the other side and when they got there it wasn't that green after all and this is all about now being able to detach from that break free from those chains and that in itself is easier said than done it takes strength it takes physical strength it takes mental strength it takes emotional strength all of the above to break free of some sort of negative, toxic, unhealthy energy. But in doing so, this energy does start to move forward to something more pleasant. May have connection to Capricorn or Leo here. So we come to this Eight of Cups. Four of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Yeah, and it does feel like you're stuck in a rut. While you do take some time out to do some healing from all of this turmoil, um, everybody needs to say, I need some space, give me some time, it's a big deal to say that. And it's taken a lot of your focus, a lot of your hard work to be able to say, I need some space here, to emotionally detach from that something, someone, somewhere that has been holding you back, causing a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreements. But that is happening with that Eight of Cups, where you are able to detach from that and move forward. Wow, Capricorn. So let's get into your future energies. Absolutely, Ten of Swords. Done, dusted, finished with that painful cycle. No more. Four of Wands, love it. Death, Seven of Wands, beautiful. May have connection to a Scorpio, Commitment stability around home and family life you're not giving up you're not quitting this is not quitting on yourself i feel with this journey that you've been through to here but it is being able to close that chapter off close the whole book off and select a whole new book even sometimes i say but that's come with sheer persistence not giving up on yourself not quitting 
you know what you want you know where this new chapter is about to take you and it's definitely not taking you back to here wow capricorn the universe backing of the universe here ace of cups knight of cups the hangman something's coming full circle and it's coming back around to this love here a new chapter a new beginning possibly a whole new romance for some of you but a love can be a job you love a home you love it may be love love it may be an existing relationship with a new chapter pregnancy birth marriage proposal moving in together it may be somebody extremely brand new where you have felt left sitting on the fence with what's been going on back here now is your moment to make a decision here because this love is here it doesn't seem to be going away there's that persistence and not giving up and you've got the backing of the universe as well love that capricorn and i feel like this two of wands is now the focus of moving forward following your dreams following your goals here seven of swords the hierophant ten of pentacles and you know the peer pressure the interference the meddling the gossip the backstabbing the deceptive energy all that you've had to contend with it's no looking back now okay you're picking up what works for you and you're stepping on forward towards your true success happiness around home and family life everything that does start to fall into place may have connection to a taurus here but ultimately your goal and your focus is on where your heart desires to be love that so capricorn let's see what the universe says the emperor princess of cups prince of swords so you are in control of the situation may have connection to an aries divine masculine energy very brave very confident very logical and level-headed when it comes to this offer of love again existing relationship somebody brand new someone you've got your eye on you're offering love to someone they're offering love to you then you get the prince of swords where it says don't rush into things slow down think it through carefully and saying that that's just to make sure that all of this emotional detachment that needs to be cleared and detached from is done in order to start this whole new chapter this whole new journey together because that love is there whether you know it yet or not <laughs> okay so we finished with open to spirit oracle capricorn there didn't want to go back in choose for you spread your wings and fly this one comes out so often but i love it it may feel as though nothing has been moving quickly enough in the direction you want however much was happening even when you could not see it at the same time that you have been busy in the outer world you have also been transforming within your life's lessons have prepared you for the next part of your journey it is time now for you to choose for you spread your wings and fly and I think I said fly my pretties to the other other one but love it go for it so that's what I have do hope it helped thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time see ya bye